come on, let's go. We ain't got a minute to lose. They killed her. They killed Miss Calhoun. Howdy, viewers. Brad Pryder, Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. If you did the Course of True Love missions way back in the game, eventually Penelope Braithwaite will contact you at the Beaver Creek hideout area and she needs your help. And if you ride all the way down to Braithwaite Manor and help her out, well, this is the final part of Course of True Love. And it's kind of interesting and exciting to play through if you end up staying after the mission. I am including a, how shall I say, special secret at the end. So let's get on with The Course of True Love Part 5. This mission starts with a letter you will receive at the Beaver Hollow or Beaver Creek Camp, and it will be in your tent when you arrive. Dear Sir, you were once very kind to Bo and myself, and it pains me to ask you to show us further kindness. But I have nowhere else to turn, and nobody else upon whom I can impose. I will, of course, pay you handsomely for your troubles. My family have turned quite mad and are threatening to send me away to stop my work, which they say is disgracing them. As if their history of absolute moral depravity, utter debauchery, and perpetual drunkenness did not disgrace them enough. I must escape, yet I am kept prisoner here. Can you help? Most days I am to be found at the cabins on the plantation. The main house and all it stood for are thankfully no more. Yours faithfully, Penelope Braithwaite. This is where spending the money for fast travel can come in handy because now instead of actually having to ride to Braithwaite Manor, you can fast travel. And if you look on the fast travel map, there you go, Braithwaite Manor, and you automatically get there. If you get to the manor, I'm just going to warn you, you may end up having a gunfight with some, how shall I say, angry cousins of Penelope. And if they see you, they will start shooting, and again, you have to end up in a gunfight with them. So let's continue on with this mission. You came. You finally came. I came. Oh, thank you. Thank you, you lovely, lovely man. Uh, calm down, miss. Oh, come on. Let's go. We ain't got a minute to lose. They killed her. They killed Miss Calhoun. All she wanted was a better lot for women, and they killed her, those pigs. Who killed her? I don't know. My cousins, probably, or, or bows. Well, you met them. They are animals. Not even animals, monsters. Monsters, if God had lost all his powers of imagination. Can you, can you please take me to the train station? Bo will be waiting. Bo, why couldn't he come and rescue you? Well, if they saw me and him together, they'd lynch him and send me off to a nunnery. Or maybe they'd lynch us both, I ain't quite sure. They do so love hanging folk. Where are you heading? Up to Boston. Good. Yeah, I like you up there. Come on. Let's go. 
course. Now, if you you ride to uh, the Rhodes Station is uneventful, but Penelope will tell you how much Bo loves her and how Bo Gray has been waiting for her, and now she's going to finally get there and they can leave to go to Boston and live a life together. train with us a little just to the first stop fine you came you came at <laughs> last you came oh, Bo, my sweet my best of men <laughs> oh I'm hardly a man at all but I love you Penelope Braithwaite <sighs> sir how can we ever repay your kindness? Mm, some of them jewels would do just fine. Bo, Arthur's gonna join us. I think we need the support. Please, could you buy the tickets, dear Mr. Morgan? We, we can't chance being seen. Sure. Thank you. We'll meet you on the platform. <clears throat> can I have three tickets to San Denis, please, sir? Of course. Uh, oh, hello, sir. Hello, Alden. I hope all is well. Uh, not terribly, but good to see you. Hey, no. hey. No, you Excuse me, Alden. Get on the train. Get your bags, miss. I got this. Come here, Yankee. With pleasure, you goddamn fool. The real problem is you're not allowed to draw a gun. And I tried. I mean, I really tried. It, it sucks. It would have ended this fight real quick. Oh, wait. That's the point of this. To fight. Quite a family you got there, son. I know. Charming to the last. Then again, my uncle used to keep his own half-brother as a slave. So, what do you expect? Good manners? My uncle used to say things were better the way they were when he could rape and kill with impunity and he didn't have to work a day in his life. Both our families. There's good people in this county, but our families bullied them and drove most of them off. Whites as well as blacks, all over this silly feud. Yeah. Well, how do life? Oh, my lord. What? Oh, I think it's my second cousin. What is with it with all these goddamn cousins? I think they found out about the jewels. All right, just keep your heads down. I'll deal with this. Jewels? I knew you had some damn jewels. They're coming from over the hill. You must have all the jewels. If you step out onto the flatbed and use a rifle, stay in cover, you should be able to take these guys down pretty quickly. Then they will start to get closer, and you're better off switching to a pistol.
abandoning us. Hold tight, all right? I'll take a look up front. What will you do? I'll figure it out. Driver! Driver, we're in the clear. Time to start this train again. And now you will have to drive the train, which is interesting and fun and uneventful, but I'm just going to fast forward through this. They tell you how to drive the train and what to do and ring the bell, etc. Again, I'm just going to fast forward through this. It's not eventful at all. Why have we stopped? It's best you go on alone from here. Mr. Arthur, I didn't know you could drive a train. Neither did I. <laughs> but if I'm honest, it was kind of fun. <laughs> and I didn't kill any of us. Well, I killed some of your relatives, but they would have killed all of us. You are a gentleman, sir. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't. Yes, you are. Here, I ain't got much money, but these sapphires are worth a lot of money. Old... Family heirloom. That Braithwaite treasure. Thank you. Now, let's get you off to Boston before any more of your relatives show up. That might be wise. Hey, you there? Yeah? This couple is heading up north to the Boston line. They got money, they'll pay you on arrival. That work for you? Yeah, sounds fine. Get on in. Hey, uh... You carry protection on a journey like this? <laughs> I wouldn't be much of a stage driver if I didn't. Goes everywhere I do. Hey! Well, Miss Braithwaite is gonna hold on to this until arrival. Mm -hmm. On account of the treasure on your person. I don't know how to thank you. Uh -huh. You're a fine man, sir. Just get out of here. I'll leave. Yeah! And there you have it. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Please feel free to leave a comment. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon and you'll be informed. I post four videos a week and you don't want to miss out. Now, if you want to stay tuned, I'm going to include a surprise here. Hey, if you're watching this, thanks for uh, sticking with it. Now, if you've played Red Dead Redemption 2 and really investigated and explored, you may come upon this outhouse on the part of the Braithwaite Manor, and there is this deformed girl who turns out to be Gertrude Braithwaite and well they just locked her in an outhouse and she is crazy and I feel kind of bad for her but I came upon her the first time and then I returned back a second time to try and get a better view. One, two, three, seven, six, four, five, eleven, two, uh, one, two, ten, three, five, eight, thirteen, fourteen, one, two, three, four, mm, seven, 
As I stated, I returned and decided to try and get a better look at Gertrude. I wasn't real good at switching to different camera views, but I got a look inside the outhouse to where you could actually see her a little bit. Bit of a long video. I thank you for watching. I thank you for subscribing. And most of all, thanks for stopping by. Thank you.